Hello everybody and welcome to another step one training video. In this training video we are going to troubleshoot to see if SNMP is working on a device that has been added to the step one system. To start what we're going to do is we are going to filter looking for devices that have SNMP enabled but are currently not receiving SNMP traffic. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go up to our filter tool in the upper left hand corner. Go down to SNMP folder and select yes to enable and no to working. So this way we'll see any device that currently has SNMP turned on inside SEV1, but we are not receiving any traffic from. Just go ahead and click results. And it lists all the devices that meets the following criteria. First what we're going to want to do is to check to see if the device is available. Because if we can't reach the device, then that would be a good reason as to why SNMP traffic is not available on that specific device. So luckily for us, SEV1 has a simple ping tool built into the system. So I'm just going to go ahead and select a couple devices here to show you how that works. Once you have your devices selected, if you go up to the checkbox in the upper left hand corner, down into tools, and into ping, what it's going to do is it's going to run that simple ping test on those devices. So you can see that for our A10 load balancer, we were able to ping that device. It had five packets, uh, minimum, maximum, and average. But for the other two devices, we failed to ping those devices. So those are good reasons as to why we cannot get SNMP traffic off these two devices, but doesn't quite explain why we can't get any SNMP traffic off the A10 load balancer. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and dig a little deeper. We're going to go into the edit tool inside that device, and I'm actually going to test this device's save settings. And we're going to go ahead and walk that. So by testing the save settings, it's the settings that have came in with the device when we discovered it. And you'll see that running the simple walk on the simple settings of that device brought up no response. Now I'm going to show you another way to get to this screen, uh, possibly an easier way. So we're going to go back to our device manager. And then instead of going into the edit tool for the device, we're actually going to go back up to that checkbox, back to tools, and into SNMP walk. So it'll just bring us back to the same page. Two ways to get the same result. Now, just like before, if we go ahead and walk this device and we're going to get no response, there's a couple reasons as to why you know you may not be able to walk that device. Uh, the first and the most common is that the read string is incorrect. If the read string is not correct, there's no way we're going to be able to read the information coming across from that specific device. That is usually the number one reason as to why we cannot reach devices for SNMP traffic. Um, another thing that I wanted to highlight was the SNMP version. So by default, SEV1 uses SNMP version 2. Typically this comes in when we discover the device that's in the MIB, but that can cause problems from time to time. So if, for instance, uh, you are not able to receive SNMP traffic for version 2, uh, it may be a good idea to try it for SNMP version 1. Um, Typically, 99% of traffic comes in on SNMP version 2. Uh, another thing that I want to point out inside the SNMP walk is that you can search by certain specific OIDs. By default, we use system description because that tends to be universal. Uh, if you run an SNMP walk for system description, it's, it's going to show you all of the SNMP traffic for everything inside that device. If you wanted a very specific walk, if you're looking for a very specific section inside the OID, uh, you can go ahead and change that to anything you'd like. I'd recommend if you're going to make any changes to this SNMP walk that you consult your vendor documentation. Um, not all devices are the same, obviously. Uh, things for like SNMP version and looking for specific OIDs. So it would be a good idea for you guys to go ahead and check that documentation to figure out what is specific to your device so that we can make sure that SNMP traffic comes in on your devices.